Hey! So, uh, this guy's gotta go. I never thought I'd be saying that, much less making a video about it. But here we are. I was here on a Saturday, enjoying my evening, and what before my wandering eyes should appear, but a tweet from Connor uh, saying, Steve just turns this game into Brawl where multi-hits don't work. Now, I was delighted by this. I love me some Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Who wouldn't want to play that game, right? So I said, let me check this out. And what do I see but Steve popping out of multi-hits? Hmm. A little weird. Big hits, small hits, everything. Across the board, a bunch of different characters. Even Politana, and that's like half her moveset. She needs to hit like eight of those in a row. What a disaster. But I thought, you know what? Whatever. Multi-hits come all the time. People pop out of them. Uh, he's already the best character in the game. This isn't going to change too much. On a little bit of copium, right? He's already the best character. You just know maybe multi-hits aren't always going to work. You might even get a setup here where, you know, Politana lands first. You have a punish. Uh, there's a there's counterplay that could develop. Not crazy. Then, by the way, this is at midnight. About a half an hour later, we see this. Check off another thing you have to be aware of. Not hitting Steve out of shield at low percent, you die. Along with a, uh, a montage of characters hitting Steve out of shield at zero and dying for it. This is worse? This is Steve straight up getting a, uh, uh, what's basically a Sora or Core encounter, but not having to guess? He just pops that shit. He's like, oh, hell yeah. Please hit me. Kaboom. And he just lets it rip. This is way harder, right? Because now you can't really hit this dude ever. You can't hit him with multi-hits really at any point. You can't hit him with your high and he's low. But he's the best character in the game. He was always going to be good. And maybe this pushes him into a new top tier. It's not game-breaking, I don't think. It's awful and it sucks, but whatever. It's not going to break the game. Huffing the copium once more. Then, six hours later... Pandora's box was opened. This is a tweet from a new fellow, Xedo, showing us the Phantom MLG, which is properly named because this is some major league gaming. Basically, what happens is Steve gets hit by an attack that does not send him into tumble, and I'm not going to get too technical on this, and he can cancel the hit stun and reverse it into potentially a kill because let's remember he can kill off nearly any hit. He kills Mario here at 30 for the uh, indignity of hitting an up air. You can see there, and you can see that's the telltale sign, that block. And that's important, so keep this in mind, this little gray thing right there. So he pops that, and then he's able to counter it for 30. All of that huff, that copium I was huffing is now on the floor. It's shattered, it's, in, it's, it's liquid all over the floor. The fumes are rising, but I can't quite get enough of it. I have now changed my mind. This is not okay anymore. This is crazy. And I'm not the only one that thinks this. Um, you can see Hungrybox here, who runs the biggest online weekly, uh, Coinbox, and saying, going to discuss this with the team. I'm heavily considering an official ban of PMLG for all Coinbox events. Steve is the best character. Are people optimizing this would be too much, blah, blah, blah. So this is specifically a stance saying Hbox wants to ban the tech, but not the character. The reason I'm making this video isn't because I have a real stance on whether or not to ban Steve. I kind of got you with the title, didn't I? The reason I'm making this video is because I know and I think HBox has been around long enough to know that this isn't a thing that you can do. This is not feasible. It is my firm, professional opinion that Hungrybox is like posting. He is farming hearts here, um, and he's not doing very uh, a very good job of it because I ratioed him. Got him. Damn. By like 100, too. Omega laugh. I don't think this is something that you can do. And I said as much. I said, banning tech is logistically impossible. You got to throw the guy out. And I was just going to leave it at this, but I got a lot of tweets from people saying, oh, what about wobbling? What about infinite dimensional cape? And I think this might be a lot of people's first Smash game or first competitive video game in general. So what I'm going to try to do is like, hey, maybe you guys don't know. Maybe you don't know why this isn't feasible. I wasn't talking about all tech in every Smash game. I'm talking about this specifically, and here's why. When... The Ice Climbers wobble you in Super Smash Bros. Melee, you can kind of tell, right? You can see. Let's say you're getting wobbled at a tournament. You call a referee over. They're like, oh, hell no. That's not supposed to happen. The referee disqualifies that guy. You're out of the tournament, right? Sends him out. Similarly, for Brawl, Brawl has a technique called the Infinite Dimensional Cape where he just... 
vanishes. It's very scary, as you can tell. He can do this forever. That's why it's called infinite. So Meta Knight can hit you one time and then beat you in a timeout because he is the lower percent. He just disappears forever. But again, you call over a TO. Hey, where's Meta Knight? He's not in Kirby. Kirby doesn't look full of Meta Knight. So what are we going to do? You realize that Meta Knight is doing a glitch, and then you ban it. The problem with this is half the time, you don't even really see it. With how weird this game is and the interactions and multi-hits, like, this could happen a lot and cause a lot of false positives. Like I said, the, the telltale sign is the phantom block showing up before. You can kind of see it there. But the, even this is kind of blending into the background, right? It's hard to see. Steve might just be mashing air dodge. Maybe the game gets weird, whatever. Um, I think on the Joker one, you could see it very clearly there. But on a couple of these, where's the block? Huh? Bro, I don't see no blocks. That joint probably hiding in Bowser. Bowser is Bowser is hiding it. He's trying to keep Steve legal. All right, well, what about Game & Watch? Ain't no blocks. I ain't see one block. Why does this matter? What I want you to understand is that Hungrybox runs the largest uh, Ultimate Weekly online, right? This thing is huge. 783 attendees regularly breaks, you know, uh, 1K, puts so many thousands of dollars in the scene. And this happens every single week. It is free to enter. And you see all these big names, right? Hungrybox, The Buzz, Wadi, Meister. I don't know why Cody's here. I don't use Star GG. Is he trying to hide this incognito thing? Whatever. I, I didn't know Cody played this game. All these people entering, right? What you do not see are all the other matches. 783 attendees means thousands of matches that are happening at all times. These thousands of matches sometimes get somebody saying, hey, this guy's cheating. This needs a lag test. This guy has to do this thing. What happens when Steve players or people fighting Steve call out and they say, hey, this guy's cheating. This guy used the block thing, the phantom MLG. You need staff for that. You need people to come over. They have to save the replay. You have to watch the replay. You have to get to the point of the match, and then they have to make a judgment call. Was this just a weird thing that happened, or is this something that needs to be enforced? The problem here is that Brawl didn't have an online scene. Not really. And the offline tournament scene is totally different. Bernard's Loop made a good point, and somebody tried to uh, refute what I said with what Bernard's Loop said, which is that you can technically ban this at IRL tournaments because the social cost of doing this is very high. You're flying to a tournament, you're at a hotel. If you use a, uh, if you try to cheat and break a rule, then you'll get in trouble, and then your name will be sullied, and you lost all that money. Right? It's a big deal. Of online, who cares? You get banned for the tournament. You show up next week. You do the same thing. Just change your name doesn't matter. It's free to enter anyway. You're not losing anything. I think the the fact that Hungrybox is, is acting like you can ban this tech, maybe there is a way to do it. I feasibly don't see a way to do it, and I straight up think you just got to ban the character. You have to. There's no way to, to su supervise this over thousands of matches every single week. And what does that say for smaller tournaments that are online? Not everybody's going to have a staff that's backed by Team Liquid and Coinbase, right? This is a disaster. Straight up, I think you either ban Steve or nothing at all. What do I actually think right now? Nothing at all. It hasn't even been a day. <laughs> I know I know what the title and the thumbnail said. I know. But I think you leave it alone. But I think this is something you really got to watch out for. Um, I think Steve is going to be under a, a very powerful microscope. Maybe there is counterplay to this. Maybe it's not even a big deal. Um, but for right now, I, I think acting like you could just ban a technique in a game this big with this many online people, I think that is some now who's huffing to copium. Hmm? Now who's being naive. There's no way to, to really enforce this over a big enough scale that Ultimate has. you got to get rid of the character or don't do anything. And right now, I don't think you do anything. And I don't know why I, I voted on this. I know HBox is interaction farming, and I gave it to him. Jesus Christ, 14,000 votes. Good heavens. Yeah, but I don't think you ban anything yet. Give it time. But everybody just saying ban the technique, that's not going to happen. You can't. People tried it before. This happens in every Smash game. They're like, oh, stop Meta Knight from jumping. He can only use this many B moves. Bayonetta is not allowed to use Witch Time. That's just not in her kit. These things happen by accident. People just hit the button by accident. Whatever. Anyway, banning the technique is dumb. You know what else is dumb? You already got a Smash video, so in for a penny, in for a pound. They put out a Smash tier list. This is the first official Smash Bros. Ultimate tier list from the alt rank team. 
Uh, they, there's some methodology. I'm not reading that shit. I'm just mad about Yoshi. Dude, what is Yoshi doing there? Why is he at the top of A tier? You're not getting another video about this, so you better savor this. What is he doing up here? This is ridiculous. They are Japaning. I know there's a guy in Japan that's winning with him, but th th there's a guy over here that's winning every other tournament with this guy. What's going on there? Why is he below Sora? Sora won one match and got confetti for it. I guess, I guess there's Kamehameha, whatever. Listen, I've been wrong about this in the past. I said that Zach Ray was like, you know, Wolf wasn't that crazy, and then he came over here and he won a lot of stuff. And I said Proto Bantam wasn't that crazy, and then he came over here and he won a lot of stuff. And then I saw Mia, and I kept my mouth shut, but I was like, oh, will he perform over here? And then he won Apex. So I've been wrong before. Yoshidora will be in America soon. But good heavens, above Wario, what are you doing, panelists? Why is Pokemon Trainer above Wario? I haven't seen that character in three years. Why are we still Shulk posting in 2023? We leave him behind. How have we not left Shulk behind in 2023? Why is he in the top tier? Hey, I'll give it up for these guys. This seems like a good top five. I know there's only one Fox player, but Fox is busted. That's different. It's not the same as Yoshi. Fox goes crazy. Dr. Mario is not bottom five. I, I don't know who put him there, but I would like to speak to that panelist. Um, Sephiroth is a meme character. He should be a Greninja. What is he doing here? This is making me matter the longer I look at it. Anyway, comment below what you think about Steve or the tier list. I'll read them all. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. That's Sunday at 8 p.m. So if you want to come, well, 7 p.m. actually, it's Sunday. If you want to come yell at me about this, come do it. But in the meantime, I had to get this out there because everybody's trying to dunk on me for likes. Let me just tell you what's going on, okay, baby boy? I know this is your first Smash game, but I've been around the block a couple times. I might be double your age, and you should doubly subscribe. Don't hit the subscribe button twice. It's going to turn gray. Subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.